Microsoft has stepped into the arena with something that I could call Devon 2.0. They've called this AutoDev, Automated AI Driven Deployment. So essentially this is a rather fascinating thing because they are introducing something that is very similar to what we had last week, which was Devon. And of course that one actually did shake the entire industry because it pretty much was on the radar. So essentially with AutoDev, it's rather fascinating because like I said, Devon was released and it did shake the entire industry in terms of people realizing that the future careers and landscape is going to change in ways we never thought before. And that is of course rather fascinating considering their artists were the ones on the chopping block and now it may be software engineer. Now, essentially what they state here is they state that, you know, the landscape of software development has witnessed, has witnessed a paradigm shift with the advent of AI powered assistance. And essentially they reference GitHub Copilot, which you all know about, but essentially they say that GitHub Copilot is just like a Copilot, it's pretty good, but you can't build, test and execute code uh, and GitHub operations. So they're constrained by their limited capabilities, focusing on suggesting code snippets and file manipulation within a chat based interface. So essentially they said, in order to fill this gap in, we present Autodev, a fully automated AI driven software development framework designed for autonomous planning and execution of intricate software engineering tasks. So you can see right here that this is a fully automated AI agent that is able to plan and execute intricate software engineering tasks. And this is their first iteration. I can probably guarantee that they're going to be coming up with uh, new iterations of this unless GPT-5 comes up with something that we didn't think of. But um, yeah, it seems that Microsoft are working on this and I'm not sure if they're working on this in a response to Devon, but I'm sure something like this did take some time. So I guess that what we're seeing here is probably just a coincidence. And it says Autodev enables users to define complex software engineering objectives, which are assigned to Autodev's autonomous AI agents to achieve. These AI agents can perform diverse operations on a code base including file editing, retrieval, build processes, execution and testing and git operations. They also have access to files, compiler output, build and testing logs and of course they have access to other tools. So it says this enables the AI agents to execute tasks in a fully automated manner with a comprehensive understanding of the contextual information required. This is something where they have a bunch of AI agents working in the frame. So this isn't something like where you have one uh, AI agent. This is something where they, they have a bunch of AI agents and these AI agents actually have different roles. You can see these AI agents can perform diverse operations on a code base, including editing, retrieval, da 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 da. So uh, it's pretty cool. And I'm going to get into some of the benchmarks now and some of the other stuff. So you can see right here that it says in our evaluation, we tested Autodev on the human eval dataset, obtaining promising results with 91.5% and 87.8% of past one code generation, respectively. So it's actually pretty, pretty good in terms of the benchmarks. Uh, the only thing is that I, I wonder why they didn't compare it to the other benchmarks, which I will talk about in a moment. But we're going to get into the architecture now because I think the architecture is very interesting. So this is how Autodev works. Um, and it's quite interesting. It's, it's quite similar to Devon, but uh, I think this one, they have more AI agents working in there. So essentially it says Autodev figure one, Autodev enables an AI agent to achieve a given objective by performing several actions within the repository. The eval environment executes the suggested operations, providing the AI agent with the resulting outcome and the conversation. The purple messages are from the AI agent while the blue messages are responses from the eval environment. So you can see right here that we have the user um, and then it goes through all of this stuff. You can see the AI agent is able to, you know, do all of this stuff. It's able to run it, uh, we realize when there's a failure and then of course test it in the environment bring it back and then of course run the test make sure it's successful it's quite a bit now like i said with this one the reason why i find this one a little bit more fascinating is because this is collaborative agents so it's a little bit different because you can see right here it says at this stage the user can define the number and behavior of the agents assigning specific responsibilities permissions and available actions for example so they state that they could you know the user could define a developer agent and a reviewer agent that collaboratively work towards an objective so this is essentially some kind of uh, i guess you could kind of say agent swarm kind of thing where you have you know multiple things working collaboratively together and when you work collaboratively together you essentially have something that is rather more effective because you know they're independently working uh, and figuring out the solution so i mean uh, it'll be an inch diagram explains how the software which is autodev works. so basically you can kind of think of this like a kitchen where essentially you have the head chef which is the of course conversation manager and of course you have these specialized chefs which are the ai agents so you can see right here we have multi multi ai agents like right here so there's a bunch of different agents and of course with this you can basically say that the head chef is then getting all these other chefs to build a meal or whatever but these are like all combining together i don't know if that made sense but you can think of like the eval environment here this is essentially you know the kitchen where these guys go to work and of course the eval environment is where you know the ingredients the state the tools the repository are ready and the docker of course is like a special safety seal that you know ensures everything is uh you know it's clean secure this docker right here um and preventing cross-contamination 
now in addition what's really cool as well you can see right here we have the tools library i didn't mean to do that uh, but we have the tools library and with the tools library this is essentially where you know these specialized chefs so to speak uh, has their special kitchen utensils and essentially they've got file editing they've got retrieval building execution testing and of course the git which of course you know recipe tracking version system so essentially what i have here is this is what the agents are going to use in order to do the like many things that they want to do and of course the conversation manager is this is where you type in your objective and then the conversation manager figures out what to do gets the agents to do that um and this is kind of how the uh you know entire thing works so in short basically you tell the system what you want to achieve and it coordinates the different specialized parts to make sure it happens correctly and everything is done in steps everything's checked along the way and i think this is rather fascinating because uh this kind of setup is a little bit different to the devon one so it will be interesting to see how this uh framework actually compares to devon on the benchmarks because i think this is pretty similar but it's a little bit different so it'll be interesting to see how it does work now it is of course based off gpt4 and they talk about you know agents this is agents comprising large language models like openai's gpt4 and small language models optimized for code generation communicate through natural language and these agents receive objectives from the agent scheduler responding with actions specified by the rules and actions configuration each agent with its unique configuration contributes towards the overall pro progress towards achieving the user objective. 